What is up everybody and welcome back to the channel. Chances are if you're like me and you use a GoPro Media Mod, you have the same complaint that myself, pretty much everybody that uses one of these things has. However, in today's video, I'm happy to say that I finally tracked down a solution after searching and looking for what seems like forever, you know, it was a lot easier and a lot cheaper and right in front of me the entire time. Now let's get into it in today's video. Now in case you are unfamiliar with the Media Mod and what this issue is that I'm talking about, I'm gonna quickly go over it here right now. Now instead of giving the Media Mod its own feet, much like GoPro does with their waterproof cases as you can see right there they've been doing this like this for pretty much ever now they decided that instead we're going to utilize the feet that fold out from the gopro camera itself to pass through a hole in the bottom side of the media mod and then give you this slotted groove right there to try and give yourself enough room to kind of fish your fingers in there and get the thumb screw in place now that creates a couple of different issues and that's exactly what we're going to be solving here in today's video the first issue that this feed configuration causes is that it kind of defeats the entire purpose of an action camera. Now an action camera's entire selling point is that these things are super small, super compact, and really easy to change from one mount to another. Now when you're sitting here trying to fight with the thumb screw and getting into this little groove slot that you have pretty much no room for your fingertips to get in there and grip the thumb screw, kind of defeats the entire purpose of being able to quickly and easily switch this camera from one mount to another. Now the second issue that this creates is that because the feet are passing through a hole in the bottom of the media mod, you cannot take the camera out of the media mod when it's attached to some sort of mount, tripod, or anything like that. Which means that every time you need to change the battery or the memory card on this GoPro, you need to sit there struggling once again with the thumb screw in this little slot right here, trying to take it out so that way you can fold the feet down to simply open the media mod, take the camera out, and get access to the battery or memory card. And if you use the GoPro, you know that these batteries do not last very long at all. And this is something that you're gonna to have to do very, very frequently. Now, although I was able to easily overcome the fact of mounting and unmounting the GoPro from one to another, utilizing this Ulanzi Quick Connect system that you see right here, just a quick example of this right there, that solves that issue. However, that doesn't solve the main issue of the media mod, and that is going to be getting access to the battery and memory card slots because the thumb screw is still going to be too small and tucked up in the media mod just like that. Now that's where today's video is so exciting because I finally tracked down not one, but two solutions of extended thumb screws that do in fact clear the media mod. Now why these things aren't more talked about when it comes to solving this massive design flaw and inconvenience of the media mod, I'm not 100% sure. Even the Amazon listings for both of these two thumb screws do not mention the fact that these are actually long enough to clear the side of the media mod body itself. But these are the game changers that I'm gonna be going over here in today's video. Now, just a quick note, both of these thumb screws, as well as this Ulanzi Quick Connect system that I just covered, will be listed in the link in the description below. So that way you can easily go ahead and find any of these products if you're watching this video and like any of them. And that way it just ensures that you guys are getting the exact same products that I'm going over here, especially when it comes to these thumb screws, because these are a little bit difficult to track down. Now, with that being said, let's dive into each one of these thumb screws and go over why I like one over the other and where I could see the other one being a little bit more convenient for you. Now, the first thumb screw we're gonna go over is going to be this winged one right here. And this is what I think is gonna be my favorite one out of the two options here. And this is the one I've been using most of the time for the past six and a half weeks of testing both of these out. Now, the reason I like this one so much is that not only has it got the extra length to clear the body of the media mod, Unlike the standard length GoPro screw right there, this also has the nice wing on it, as you can see. So that way this gives you plenty of room and leverage to tighten this thing down and also loosen it. Now, like I said, just to show you guys how convenient and easy it is with this extender one. See how this is kind of a pain in the butt? You can't really get your fingers on this thumb screw. However, once you put this extender one length on one, you can easily get this thing nice and tight with plenty of room and this sticks out plenty past the medium mod. Therefore, you can crank this thing down and have plenty of room to loosen it. Now, the only real critique that I could give this thing is that this is just an ABS plastic thumb screw. So that means that these wings could potentially be prone to breaking if you were just a little bit too careless, tighten this thing down a little bit too tight. However, one thing I do really like about these things is that they're coming in a five pack and they're relatively cheap. So even if you broke one, you do technically have four replacements right off the rip, as well as this has the hex screw right there. So that way, just like any of the GoPro thumb screws has a hex on it. If you have the key or any aftermarket key to put in there and undo it, even if you did happen to break the wings off, you could still could easily undo this, 
putting in another one, but I can see where that potential of breaking these wing screws could be a little kind of like a downside to somebody. That is exactly why I have the second option right here. Now this option is the sub take one, and just like the first one, this is an extended length one. So you can see the length comparison right there compared to the standard GoPro thumb screw. However, because this one doesn't have the wings, it's just a little bit sturdier of a ABS plastic thumb screw. However, because it doesn't have the wings, you can't really crank this thing down as much because you don't have as much leverage on it. However, the other benefit of using this subtake one is that the wings do not get in the way if you're trying to use kind of like a gimbal or a crazy arm contraption or configuration or anything like that. And that is why I'm also including this one as like a second place runner up when it compared to my favorite one right here. Now, another one thing that I'm not too pumped about on the subtake one is that the end screw here is actually round, unlike this one that has the hex. So if you do happen to crank this down too tight, you cannot put the hex key in here to undo this. However, either one you go with, these are gonna be great options, especially for a convenience standpoint when using the eyes of the medium on because these thumb screws, let's face it, are just simply not long enough. Now, one last thing to go over is going to be price points for these thumb screws. Now, like I said, these are just ABS thumb screws, so they are relatively cheap, and they're both basically the same price. However, this one, which is my personal favorite, the winged one, is a little bit cheaper. This comes in at $6.99 for a five pack, and you're gonna get five identical thumb screws, as you see right here. The Subtic one, on the other hand, comes in at $7.99 for a four pack. However, inside that four pack, you're only actually getting three that are this length. The fourth one is going to be similar in length to the shorter GoPro one, which is going to defeat the purpose when you're trying to solve the issue that you run into with the medium mod. So you're only going to get three extended length ones in the package for an extra dollar more than you would for a five pack of these wing ones, which is another reason why I like these so much. However, no matter which one of these two you choose, this will be a great improvement over this thumb screw that just simply is not long enough right out of the box from GoPro. Now, with that being said, hopefully this is a big help for anybody who is running into this issue, just like myself and other people have expressed. But on that note, we're going to wrap up the video. Peace out. I'll catch you guys on the next one.